Hey everybody, welcome to Hobby Farm Guys. I'm Steve. And I'm Brian. And joining us behind the scenes is Eric. Hey guys, don't forget to tell them about our t-shirt giveaway. Oh, that's right. Thanks, Eric. Uh, if you'd like a Hobby Farm Guys t-shirt, just like this one right here, check the description below. It's easy, it's free, and it's just our way of saying thanks for watching and subscribing. Yeah, so recently uh, we received a request to do a video about dealing with a bully chicken. Yep, Nadine, this one's for you. One of the benefits of raising chickens is simply enjoying seeing your birds out in the yard, but as endearing as they may be, sometimes you might end up with a bull in your flock. Now we're not talking about the occasional squabble over pecking order. Those are short-term behaviors that quickly end once, the hen, once one of those hens decides to yield. Yeah, bullying is more than that. It's when a hen or more than one will systematically pick on weaker hens for no apparent reason anyway. Uh, it often begins with feather plucking, but unchecked, it can escalate into full-blown warfare, which can lead to serious injury or even death. Uh, today we're going to look at what causes bullying, how to prevent it, and how to intervene if needed. Now, while each chicken has its own unique personality, and some breeds are more aggressive than others, chickens aren't naturally prone to bullying. Such behavior is typically brought on by one of four things, either sickness, stress, boredom, or overcrowding. Now the first of these, sickness, brings out instinctive bullying. A sick bird can be a liability to the flock, so others may start bullying as a way to drive her away in order to keep the group healthy. Sick or injured birds should be isolated from the flock until healthy, preferably in a location that's still within view of the others. Right. Now the next cause is stress. When we get stressed, we sometimes act differently, right? Yeah. Same with chickens. Stress can cause a variety of issues. Uh, hands may stop laying for a few days, they become quiet or aloof, or they may become aggressive and lash out. Right? As with people, change often brings about that stress. Changes in housing, food, temperatures, and new members of the flock can all trigger stress. The main thing to do here is minimize stress by providing a safe, comfortable home and routine. Uh, boredom can also be a contributor in bullying. Yeah. Okay, this often happens in winter when hens can't or won't go outside. Having little to do may be what starts some to begin feather picking. Uh, while it's not usually a big problem, it can sometimes escalate into a frenzy. And once blood is drawn, right, those birds peck at it relentlessly, yeah. uh, worsening the wound and seriously injuring or even killing uh, the other hand. So if this happens, intervene immediately to prevent boredom, give your flock something to do with like a cabbage ball to play with or even fresh straw to dig around in. Now probably the most common and most preventable cause of bullying is overcrowding. Uh, chickens need their space. Most chicken owners are probably guilty of figuring out the maximum number of birds that you can fit into the space you have, or even adding one or two hens above that. Uh, just like you wouldn't want to be crowded into the minimum space your family could possibly live in, chickens feel the same, right? Uh, and they're eventually going to start fighting if you overcrowd. So, if you see signs of bullying, what should you do? Uh, first, try to figure out why. Has something changed recently? Are they bored? Does anybody look sick or injured? Now, keep in mind, if you have a rooster and some hens have missing feathers on their back, that's probably from mating. So, if you are around to witness the bullying, there are a few techniques you can employ to stop the behavior. One is simply a well-aimed water pistol, right? A couple squirts, the bully can stop her in her tracks. <laughs> Uh, another method is what we call the pebble can, right? You get an old can, you fill about a third of the way with pebbles, and if you see bullying, you shake the can, right? The, the racket interrupts the chickens, they stop to see what's going on, see what's making that awful racket, and this distracts the bully, gives the other hen a chance to get away. Um, unfortunately, these methods really only work if you're present to witness the bully. That's right. And it's always better to try and prevent a problem than it is to cure one. Keep in mind, your flock is going to develop a pecking order, and the higher ranked hens are often going to drive away any lower rank birds if they perceive a shortage of food or water. So make sure they've got plenty of both. And for larger groups, you can place food and water in more than one location so they don't fight over it. 
Great tip. Uh, I did just that when integrating my bluebirds yeah. in the flock this spring. Another option to prevent bullying are some of those commercial sprays, ointments, or lotions. Uh, applying these to the picked on birds uh, give their feathers a really bad taste, yeah. discouraging the, the bully hen. Uh, most of them also contain medications to help that injured hen heal as well. Yeah. Of course, there's always the option of chicken glasses, right? Uh, they act like a blinder for the chickens to prevent them from seeing directly in front. Uh, they can still see on the side well enough to scratch and eat and drink, but not pick on other birds. They're safe, painless, relatively inexpensive, and effective. So one final option to stop bullying is isolation, or as I call it, chicken joe. Yeah. Right? Uh, now, we mentioned before, if you've got a bird that's sick or injured, isolate her, but in this case we're talking about isolating the bully. Yeah. Right? You put her in a separate cage where they can still see each other but not interact. Uh, you may need to do this for three to seven days. This will deny her both freedom and status. Keep in mind, while she's in that cage, that picking order resets. When she returns to the flock, her lowered status may stop that bullying behavior. Yeah. So there you have it. Uh, what to do about bullying chickens. Uh, remember, it's always easier to prevent bullying in the first place than to stop it once it starts. Uh, keep them healthy, keep them safe and comfortable, keep them entertained, and always avoid overcrowding. And if you have tips on how to prevent bullying or how to deal with it once it starts, leave a comment down below. We'd love to hear about it. Until next time, happy hobby farming. Bye. Bye. Hey, everybody. We here at Hobby Farm Guys would like to take a moment to thank you for all of your support. Thank you for reviewing our videos, for liking our videos, and subscribing to our channel. We really appreciate it. One thing we really enjoy is your comments and your emails, and we get to get the feedback that you guys have on your hobby farm. We're having a lot of fun, and one of the things we're doing is our t-shirt giveaway. So please check the description to find out how you could win one. So in the meantime, happy, har happy hobby farming, you...